You're watching Weekend at Gabe's and I'm Weekend Gabe. This latest episode was brought to you by the good folks over at the Ghetto Flower. Use our code WATG for an exclusive 15% discount when visiting their site. Tell them I sent you. Now enjoy the show. Yo, broadcasting live to you and your games with Weekend Gabe. I'm Weekend Gabe holding you down on this Thursday, June 30th, 2022, the last day of june i think it is could be wrong yeah it is tomorrow's july 1st uh so hopefully everyone is out there having a good evening and thanks for joining us here on the show we got a lot going down kicking us off is going to be straight out of the atl jay nolan he has a new album the price of admission and also is giving away tips of the game in the rap game so we're going to get into all that good stuff that he's doing and consulting independent artists and then for our thursday thunnies we have julia stoyanova out of uh, Red Club uh, Comedy Club Chicago. They got a big show going on tomorrow night that we're going to get into. So a lot going down here on Weekend at Gabe's. Give us a follow on these socials at Weekend Gabe at Weekend at Gabe's at The Real Sam Frame. And the Ghetto Flower, speaking of The Real Sam Frame, joining us from the <laughs> Undisclosed location. Yeah, man. How are you? you? Know what's going on. Man, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm just noticing the gnomes that are the only thing left on your bookcase. Can you... Can you let the people know what the hell is going on weekend game? Because Listen, this man, is, this you week- know, the feng shui is all off in the in the in the house in the room in the background. What's going on, man? 130 episodes in, I was like, this is when we're gonna switch it up. Um, I mean, this is a far go from when uh, my laptop used to be, uh, you know, just had my face all in the screen, <laughs> and I had my uh, on the ironing board. So we've come a long way, uh, but it's a moving weekend, so. We will, I will be in a new location next Thursday when we're taking the Tuesday off for the holiday. So uh, when, when you see me on Thursday, it's going to look a little bit different, but hopefully equally intriguing. So we'll, you'll, you'll see it. And that's a weekend of games exclusive. Uh, and that's what we love to see. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I'm, I've had myself a week. I hope your week has been okay. Uh, I've certainly had my, <laughs> uh, and, uh, as everyone knows, uh, you love to spend your 4th of July moving. So, uh, I do not envy you, but I will be kicking back and drinking a beer somewhere thinking about your plight. That's, that's what I'll be doing. Let's go. Uh, we're supposed to go to the water park with the kids. So, uh, Monday I'll be at the White Sox game for the 4th of July game. So that should be really okay. cool. And also I think they're giving away, uh, Lewis Robert, uh, chains so you could see me on thursday rocking a cuban link chain which is going to be we need that absolutely phenomenal yeah we, we definitely it. uh what with the 88 too i think it's supposed to be an 88 pendant Ooh, it's going down uh so yeah we're gonna it's gonna be a lot of work this weekend but all worth it when we return on thursday so uh stay tuned and stay in touch uh we got a lot going on tonight man i'm really excited to talk to both of these guests jay nolan we talked about his a uh, new album that just dropped. Also, a lot of the business side of things. And then the return of Thursday Thursday. We haven't had a comedian on in about five weeks. Yeah, I, can't, I mean, it's, it's been a long hiatus for us. So I'm glad to get back. And uh, hopefully we'll share some some Bulgarian laughs with uh, Julia Stoyanova of Red Room Comedy Club. Uh, so I'm excited about it. Yeah, exactly. But what the people came to see weekend gave is a certain news segment because they get all kinds of news from all kinds of places, from all kinds of biased sources. But there's one man who stays unbiased, so you don't have to, and it's only news that you don't care about, and that's why it's news that only Gabe cares about. There you go. All right, that's where we get into it. Uh, news that only Gabe cares about. Sponsored by the good folks over at the Ghetto Flower. Head to their site today. Use our coupon code WAG, uh for 15% off all purchases of $50 or more. Do that today. Right now. Right now. Okay, in a little Ooh. bit, but later, later. All right, so Tiny Desk Concerts. You love them. I love them. Five years. I actually thought this started during the pandemic, but no, actually it goes back a little bit further than that. Oh, but Tiny Desk perfect, Concerts. Man. They're excellent. I love them. They actually became a huge thing during the pandemic. Uh, so, you know, the latest installment comes from one Usher Raymond, who absolutely destroyed his... Did you see this at all today? No, what is he, what is he wearing on his neck? It's like a little snap thing, like when you got to, like, snap something together. 
Uh, I don't know what that is, but uh, he was he killed. killed. I thought Usher was canceled. I, you know, I thought, <laughs> I thought we weren't doing Usher anymore. Usher ain't canceled. <laughs> he ain't do nothing. <laughs> a little birdie told me he had the herp. And, oh uh, yeah, I, I, I did hear he had the germ. Yeah, yeah. He, he was he was out there Michael Vicking it for a bit. Yeah, for sure. Um, um but he did the tiny dust man. He did all the old jams. It's really actually I really enjoyed it. I don't love everyone's tiny dust. That's man. why people were talking about confessions on the timeline today. Now I see a lot of things make sense. <laughs> I'm on the internet very minimally today. You know. Yeah, absolutely. So about Tiny Desk, some of the previous acts who have done it. Your favorite, Mac Miller did it. My favorite, Anderson Pop, Jasmine Sullivan. Nah, actually, you got that you got that wrong, bro. My one of my favorites, Mac Miller did it, but my absolute favorite, T Pain, did it and killed it. He was fantastic. Uh so shout out to T Pain. I even uh, Wu Tang actually did it, which was amazing because they had like ten people in that small ass space uh, behind that desk, and then Vince Staples and Ed Sheeran, or quite a few other people. But the question is, seen Usher do it? Who would you like to see? I got about five people, but off the bat, off the head, who would you like to see do a tiny desk? I, I, I mean, it says it's tiny desk by all eyewitness and first person accounts that desk is really not all that tiny there's a lot of space <laughs> behind it uh, yeah that being said it's it's sort of been lower key artists and i think usher might be you know ushering in a wave shit oh my god i'd kill myself for that right <laughs> uh, but uh no, he might be he might be starting a new wave where we can see some of these bigger artists do it. So when you ask me, you know, who would I love to see do it? Obviously, a lot of the people we had on this show, I'd love to see No Name do one. I, I believe she may have already done one. I saw yeah. Mick Jenkins do one at home. Um, Dreamer Isioma, I'd love to see her do one as far as like a low key artist. But I'd also love to see some major artists do it. Why doesn't Beyonce do one? That would be that would be tight. You know, Drake doing a stripped down set. That would be tight. Uh, yeah, you know, I'd like to see, I'd like to see the higher level of joints do this. I think we've been doing this for a while. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe this is a, this is a start of a new wave. All right. Uh, this is my wish list. And I, I just thought about this as, as I was preparing the segment. Uh, I'd oblige do a set. I'd love to see yeah. Dr. Dre Snoop do a set. My great wish list. Earth, Wind and Fire do a set. I don't know. I don't know about Dr. Dre and Snoop, but Earth, Wind, and Fire for sure. Uh, and then Wayne do a set. And no, not that one either. Not that one. I either. like. I like to see Diddy do a set with Guest because I think that could be really no. Cool. This, you know, you're you're, <laughs> conflating, you're conflating two things that are very different. This is not a versus. There's. It's all. It's tiny. It's about stripped down musicality. Uh, there's nothing stripped down or musical about Lil Wayne, despite. You know, you, you book him to do that show, he's going to bust out his electric guitar and try to convince you that he can play. And nobody <laughs> wants to fucking see that shit. Uh, same thing with Dre and Snoop. We not pressing play on tracks and then just dancing like it's the Super Bowl, bro. That's not how this shit works. You know, unless it's, you know, Mac, Mac Miller literally had Thundercat on the bass for him. Like, let's let's think a level above the rapper just pressing play on his MP3s, man. Like, not, well, not Snoop and Dre. All right, well. I would like to see. All right, let's next uh, segment or news bits. Uh, only two tonight, so we're keeping it short. All right, NBA free agency mm -hmm. burst open out the gates tonight. I know you're oh excited. My God, it was a day. You know, I, I would just like to take a moment. Uh, Adrian was was or Woj. or whatever. However, you pronounce Woj. it, Woj. Wherever you're at. I'm sorry, big man. It has been a goddamn day for you. I dragged <laughs> you off of the couch to just bust down. Like it was not even, it was a matter of 20 minutes that I saw maybe four trades go through 17 free agent signings. And then Kevin Durant requests a trade for the Nets. Exactly. Uh, all right. The Bulls are very unlikely at this nation. Not say un good, unlikely. Uh, Freddie, where would you like to see? Freddie tweeted uh, KD in a Bulls jersey. So I'd just I like to give that. a shout out. Yeah, the Kuko jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be dope. <laughs> was that recent? Um, that I can't remember if that. Uh, where, no, that, that was a recent tweet. Uh, but I don't know. Where, where would I like to see KD play? Uh, people have been talking about a Golden State return. I wouldn't mind that. 
Uh, I think serendipity, if I was the Brooklyn Nets GM, trading him back to Oklahoma City for all of the goddamn picks that Oklahoma City has in their in their pocket. I'm taking <laughs> every single one of the Oklahoma City picks, and you guys are going to have KD back because uh, that's like a fuck you to both teams. Um, so I'm yeah. into that. Uh, obviously the Bulls. Um but you know, maybe uh, maybe Houston. You know, he's he was a Texas college star. Maybe Houston is a is a spot for him with those young guns with Jalen Green and uh, a couple of them cats down there. Uh, yeah. So we'll see what happens. I would really like to see him maybe go to if he goes to a Memphis and pairs up with Ja. I think he'd be really dope. No, nah, they ain't got no cap space. They just signed. They yeah. literally just signed yeah. Tyus Jones today to a fat deal. So uh, shout out yeah, to I Tyus know. Jones getting his bag. But Tyus Jones, a uh, Kevin Durant, you are not. Uh, so yeah, I don't think uh, Memphis is a likely destination. Somebody said Orlando. Right. That would be bad too. <laughs> no, don't go I to. Was, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with, All right. with this whole thing. All right. Speaking of money, we uh, also. Bradley Beal got two hundred fifty million over five years. Yeah, but Bradley. No, 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 no. Because Bradley Beal first like he declined his options yes. and then became a free agent, and then minutes later signed a fat contract extension. A quarter uh, yeah, million dollars. He of yeah. course wants to win by staying in Washington D.C. Yeah, Fuck no. pull the other one, buddy. Yeah. yeah. He he got the half a million, half a billion of the yard. All right, but someone who turned an Opted out also, James Harden, for almost $47.5 million. Really quick, would you ever opt out of almost $50 million? Hasn't He's been paid more in the past, though. You know what I'm saying? So, like, no, he, he's I, fine. Yeah, he's fine. But that's still, my point. It's a like, $50. The, the idea for, for Harden is that he is opting out of the $47 million option so that he can sign more of a $35 million option. And to me, a person with $0 million – uh, the difference between 47 and 35 million is still $35 million to me. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I, I, so, I, I know, uh, yeah, I know yeah, he's trying to be relate, a team. I would pick it up. I know he's trying to be a team player and give the 76ers some flexibility with their cap. However, however, I don't know of any other job that would million dollars for a year. Um, so I would be a little bit hard pressed to forfeit that and negotiate down but you know uh maybe just something that we don't know and being a- maybe he's trying to get maybe he's trying to get kd to philly you know that could happen too yeah that worked out really well in brooklyn all right <laughs> <laughs> all right that's uh tonight's on the game cares about on the june 30th 2022 and that's all my money <laughs> oh i ain't giving up God. no money i need no money's be left on the table. Not, not, not in this game. We don't give bags. We don't fumble bags around here. Thank you for watching the latest episode of Weekend at Games on YouTube brought to you by the Ghetto Flower. Make sure to also click on the links in the description for more information to our guests and access to exclusive new music from the Ghetto Flower and so much more. Make sure to also like and subscribe to the show and also continue to share support and show love by clicking on any of the links surrounding my head. Thanks for watching.